So in this video, what I'm going to do is talk about taking the square root to a negative number. Um, a lot of times we actually can see everything. Uh, we see it in class, the teacher's going over it, and I know we've all been there before, right? We're in class, we're sitting there, we get it. And then automatically when we get home, it's like everything just left our mind. We can look at our notes, we can do whatever it is. Well, here I'm going to go ahead and explain to you and hopefully help and kind of go further into details as far as what your teacher was explaining. So when we're taking the square root to a negative number, I, I want to show you this example because to be honest with you, I hate them. But I have to do it because this is probably what you've seen before. If you have the square root of negative r or negative b or any letter, um, that's equal to i square root r or i square root any, num any letter. It's confusing. I, I remember when I took math, I did not understand this at all. But in layman terms, what this is actually saying is whenever there's a negative inside of a square root, you just take out a letter i. Remember that. Whenever there's a negative inside of a square root, just take out the letter i. What I like to do is I like to go ahead and actually just solve it like there isn't a negative and then put the i there after. It really helps me. Let's just say I had, let's, I don't know, um, 18 for example. So if we had the square root of negative 18, I'm going to say, well, let me just pretend that's the square root of 18 because if we're this far in math, hopefully we can do this. And if not, it's okay. Math isn't an easy subject, but it teaches us to break it down. We have 2 times 9, and then that would break down to 2 times 3 times 3. And let's put our little multiplication signs in here. So now we know that the square root of 18 would actually be, since we're taking out a pair of 3's, it would be 3 square root 2. Well, remember what I said. All you have to do, again, all you have to do is pretend like it's the square root of 18 versus negative 18, but at the end, just throw an i in there. So the square root of negative 18 would be 3 i square root 2. And all that i is doing is taking out for the negative right here. So it's basically saying i is equal to the square root of negative 1. And that's exactly what it is. But this right here, get your attention right here, this has way too much thinking involved. Just remember that when you see a negative, you take out the letter i. Because then it's saying, well, therefore, so if i is equal to the square root of negative 1, therefore, then i squared is equal to negative 1. Okay, I got it. I get it now. Doesn't matter. What I want to know is what I do with this negative. And the tip is to take out the letter i right here. That's what you need to know. So then you say, well, okay, what happens if it's the square root of negative 9? because there's not going to be a square root in the answer anymore. That's fine, because that's actually equal to 3i. That i is not going to disappear because this negative never disappears. Always remember that. Now, I'm going to also make a video on what happens when we square i, just so you guys get a better idea of that. 